Welcome back to Genshin, but I can't teleport. Today, we're going on quite the long journey from our starting point in Tavit, all the way to the edges of the Hadramavith Desert. Naturally, we won't be able to continuously run or sprint that far. So we'll walk unless we're attacked or targeted by enemies. And while the mighty traveler can scale all sorts of cliffs and glide from mountain peaks, using already established roads and paths is still safer. From the beach, we fished out Payman to Mondstadt City. It's an 18-hour long walk. So to give Lumen a little bit of time to rest, a few of her most trusted travel companions will join in on the journey. After Kea accompanied us to Don Winery, Mona will take us all the way to Stone Gate. At this point, we've been on the road for 41 hours. With Yao Yao, one of our newest travel buddies, we'll travel to Wangshu Inn. This part of the route feels quite familiar and we've traveled it quite a few times already. After 53.5 hours we reach Wangsu Inn, where Shinki is already waiting for us. We encountered some weird hill girls on the side of the road, but a certain guardian Yaksha will probably take care of them, so we decided to move on. After a bit of stormy weather, we'll finally arrive at Liu Harbor in a short while. This part alone took us over 24 hours. For the next leg of our journey, a very high-ranking government official will join us. With Kiking, we will travel all the way to the chasm's entrance. Because this video would have been way too long otherwise, the walking parts are sped up 60 times. And even so, this video is over 5 minutes long. We're on the fourth day of our journey, and Kazuha will guide us through the chasm area all the way to Gandharvaville. Well, I tried my best to stick to the paths visible on the map. I did run into some issues here in the chasm. But that makes sense, since the chasm is not really open for regular travel anyways. Nonetheless, Kazuha managed to safely get us to Gandharvaville, where our favorite forest watcher Kalei will take over the guide duty. Alright, let's head towards Party's Dai for now. Sometimes quest markers can show the distance to the target, but these distances are very off. So we can actually roughly calculate the distance we covered if we multiply the time it took us by the average walking speed of a person. So we'll just assume that we walk at an average adult walking speed, which is roughly 5 kilometers per hour. Of course, that's not overly accurate since we have short characters like Nahida here and Yao Yao, who most likely have a slower walking speed, and we also didn't just walk, but also run and sprint at times. I still think it's fun to get a rough estimate for the extent of our current walkable Tavit map. After Nahida accompanied us to the edges of the Sumer rainforest, Nalu will join us for the desert part of this nation. In the desert especially, the Sumter Beasts were very annoying, because they followed and attacked us for a very long time. We had to stray from the path here, just so we could light up the map of the new area. Up to this point, we've already walked for almost 8 days straight, so with a 5 km per hour pace that would mean we've traveled almost 1000 km by foot. And now, we're in a very dangerous area and we are definitely not well equipped for the sandstorms occurring here. So as to not put Nalu in any more danger, we'll just do this last part of the journey by ourselves. The end of our journey is in a very nice cave at the northern edge of the Hadramavith Desert. You might have already come across it while exploring this area, 
but when I first stumbled upon it, I was very intrigued. I wonder where that cave leads to. Thanks for watching.